Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're doing timing. You can see that I've gone ahead and already set up the timing tools for us. So what I'm going to be doing is checking the timing on the engine today. Um, so you can see that it's currently set up for the horizontal head. What we've got in here then is we've got one dial gauge that is mounted so that it can measure the inlet cam and you'll see that we've got a feeler gauge in to take the clearance up between the arm and the valve that's because every measurement is done at one de uh, sorry one millimeter worth of movement of the valve train We've got a second dial gauge here, which is on a special tool that's mounted in the spark plug hole that helps me find an accurate top dead center. And then again, we've also got a dial gauge that's mounted on the exhaust cam, again with a feeler gauge set up to take out the clearance gap. Then coming round to the generator cover, I've got the Ducati cranking handle with a timing wheel on it. And this is broken down into the four quadrants by 90 degrees. So it's 360 degree wheel, but broken down specifically for timing. So what you'll see on there is it's marked. So you can see it's top dead center, bottom dead center, and then it's done in 90 degree stages so that we know, argument's sake, if we're over here, we can go the 90 degrees before top dead center, the 90 degrees after top dead center, the 90 degrees before bottom dead center, the 90 degrees after bottom dead center, which makes it much easier for doing timing operations. And then I've also then got it all open, ready to go for the vertical head. I'm sorry, and I should point out a little uh, piece of steel that acts as a pointer rod so that um, I can see where roughly I am on the, the wheel at any given time. So to get this right, what you need to do first is you need to find top dead center. So turning this in the correct direction what you're looking for is on this dial gauge you're looking for it to go to its maximum movement which is roughly there zeroed on the dial gauge because we're at top dead center on horizontal and then all I've done is I've adjusted the pointer so that it lines up with zero top dead center on the timing wheel. And that gives me my datum timing position. So I know that the engine is at top dead center there. Do is I'm gonna check the timing of our inlet cam. So because I've set this to top dead center already, I'm already into uh, part of the stroke for the inlet cam. So I'm going to just back it all off and then redo that movement. So let me just spin that round. Right, so here we go. It's coming up to open the cam. Right, so what I need to do is I need to allow this to move out by one millimetre so quite hard doing it holding the camera as well so that's one millimetre is that the cam the lobe is started to engage with the valve train and if you see on the one where I'm measuring it I've got the feeler gauge taking the clearance up and then what you'll see on the timing wheel is that it is opening at 40 degrees before top dead center. I now need to get it to the inlet closing position. So again, if we just hold it on there, what I've got to do is take it for its full cycle. I'm sorry, the other bit I need to mention is that this here, this gauge here is the amount of millimeters moved. So I need to have this back to this position when I'm doing the closing measurement. So we just go all the way through. That's it, fully open. And we just keep turning it now. Now we're starting to close the inlet valve. So we just need to get it to come all the way back to where I was. 
again quite hard doing this with one hand oh I'm gonna have to take that quite far back there we go so on the arm is what we are at 71 degrees after bottom dead center. What I now need to move down to is the exhaust can. So let's just go through its cycle. Zero that off. Oh, here we go. That's one millimeter of travel again. And what we've got on there is 73 degrees before bottom dead center. We'll just keep moving that now. All the way around to get it fully open. Now it's starting to close. Coming around to the millimeter open mark. All right. Just slightly past. And then what we've got on there is 40, uh, 43 and a half, but we'll round it up. 44 degrees after top dead center. That's our set of datum readings taken. Let's compare them against standard spec. So I've just done a recheck measurement and that is coming at 70. I'm just looking at the dial gauge slightly wrong. So what we've got is we've got an issue here in that the inlet cam timing is not meeting the standard timing. And the exhaust cam timing is also not meeting the standard timing. So that means the theoretical centre line is probably out and we just need to work out are we advanced or retarded at the moment. So there's a calculation you can do. So if you take the opening and the closing measurement, add those together, it gives you 110 degrees of movement. Add that to a half rotation, which is 180, gives you 290 degrees take that 290 degrees divide it by 2 gives you 145 degrees then if I take away the initial opening position of 40 degrees from that 145 you can see it gives us a theoretical center line of the cam of 105 degrees if you compare that to where we are on the uh, book centre line, we are one degree retard for the intake. We now do that check measurement for the exhaust, we've got 73 plus 43 equals 116. We add the 116 to 180 degrees gives us 296. 296 divided by 2 will give us 148 degrees and then we take the smaller measurement away so we take the 148 minus the 43 equals 105 degrees so actually despite the fact that we're one degree out on the opening and closing we still achieve our datum centre line for the exhaust cam so there's not an issue on that one. Um, what should I do? Well today was about checking timing and we can see on the horizontal that we have got a retarded intake which is okay for top end power but I want to improve the mid-range so I really want to advance that and we've got a pretty much bob-on uh, exhaust cam centre line 
but really you want to sort of retard that by about two degrees. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and change all of this gear, stick it up on the vertical cams and take a set of measurements. I'll get that all set up now. Okay, so that's us just set up now. So um, what I need to do is set this to zero. Uh, just check in there that we're definitely not touching anything. So this one to zero. Now all I need to do is set uh, top dead center again. So just need to keep turning this until such time as that stops. There. That looks to be our top dead centre. Ah. Indicate lock indicators getting in the way. So just uh, take that back a bit. Let's come round. Yep, that's our top dead center. So I need to get this set up to read top dead center. As you can see, it's 90 degrees out, which the engine is. Um, there's a big nut on the back here. I've just got to loosen off because that's holding this tight. So let me just do that quickly. So all I need to do now I've loosened that off is just turn the card till I get top dead center. And then I'm just going to tighten that up now. Okay, so that's that at uh, zero. So that's one millimetre worth of travel. And we have got 44 degrees before top dead centre. Okay, so we're back at the one degree lift position after doing its rotation. And what we can see there is 67 degrees after bottom dead centre. Now what we need to do is we need to get the exhaust open in position. So let's just see how hard this is to do one handed. So that's one millimeter of lift. And we have got before bottom dead center. Uh, 73 degrees, 73 degrees. Turn it round now and go through our full cycle. Try and bring it back with one hand. There we go. One millimetre of lift again, and we are at, oh, sorry, let's try and get this clear so you guys can see it, uh, 44 degrees after top dead centre. Okay, so that's our vertical readings taken, so let's just check that against the datum set. Where I'm at at the moment is inlet opening is the same, inlet closing is five degrees different. 73 and 44 so i'm one degree out on exhaust opening and bob on on exhaust closing okay let's just work out those theoretical center lines again it's interesting because um if i then look at where i am with all the sets of cams i've got an, an engine that's really messy on its timing so it's all all about all over the place so We've got one degree, oh sorry, that was the exhaust on there is bob on, on the horizontal, but I've got half a degree advance on the vertical. On the horizontal intake, I'm one degree retarded, but on the vertical, I'm two and a half degrees advanced. So um, that's, that's the timing checked. What I need to do is I need to change the standard wheels over 
So what I'm going to need to do is change these wheels over to adjustable wheels which I had hoped to run standard timing but I've got a variance between the engine uh, cam timing. It possibly could be down to the keys that are in here. You can get offset keys to go into the, the main driver here but they're quite rare. Now I don't know of anybody that actually sells them anymore so they're a bit like getting hold of uh, unicorn shit if you pardon the pun. Um, rare as so what I'm going to need to do is uh, change over to the nice fancy adjustable pulley wheels I had um, which I had been saving for another engine but um, we'll use those on this engine and we'll get this cam timing dialed into where I want it to be so if I'm going to put those on I'm not going to run the standard timing I'm going to advance it a little bit and uh, get some more meat out of that so that is how you check the cam timing Let's um, let's get this timing readjusted. I'll get it adjusted. I'll do a quick update just to let you know it's been done. Um, you can see in the background, the frame is out of the attic, ready to go. So what I'm hoping to do is just finish this last bit of timing and then we'll start getting ready to put the engine into the frame. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a like. If uh, you're not subscribed, I'd welcome you as a subscriber as we carry on doing this build. Any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.